John. Um, was that a tale of two halves in a way? Um, maybe not two halves. I think probably two sides of a performance that um, that I don't like. I think uh, we played very well tonight with the ball, but then um, I didn't like the the mentality. Um, I thought uh, we were very, very good for up until they scored the, their first, really. So, what was that 45 minutes or so? We were very good, and the mentality dropped. Um, that's as a group. I like. I don't put the players and myself separate, but um, yeah, I'll change that mentality. Um, I'll make sure of it. You touched it there. Was it disappointing to go in level after such a, a dominant, I suppose, or a real pleasing first half performance in the Jordan goal quite late on? Yeah, but also look, that's that can happen in football. I think uh, you can dominate a half, lose a a goal. Um, but yeah, that can happen. And that can happen. But what I wanted to see at half time, and I didn't see in the second half, was an understanding that um, of why we were so dominant. We were that good with and without the ball for large parts of the first half, and um, we can't take we can't we can't sorry take it for granted that um, we have to outfight teams. Uh, as soon as we start to think that uh, we're better than they are, better than we are, we get hurt. And then um, you saw that second half, and um, I didn't like it. I didn't like what I saw in terms of the mentality of the team. I've got some really good good lads in there, huh? but some young ones as well that are learning. They have to they have to understand that uh, football's hard. As soon as you uh, think you're doing okay, the other team's going to uh, going to hurt you, and they did tonight. You mentioned about the mentality. Is, is that something you can? Coach, or is it something that comes with age, experience? How how do you, how do we, I suppose, right and wrong? Sorry, of that. That's on me. It's me that uh, builds a culture of the club um, and creates an environment where, yeah, we have to get rid of this. So um, I think we're definitely playing catch up with that. I think it's uh, that's been a constant battle also from day one uh, this season. But I kind of. I have to stay patient at times with things like that and maybe the second half performances. I don't want to, but we've probably had second halves and we've had games like that this season uh, just because where we are at the moment as a club. Um, but we'll be fighting very hard to make sure that uh, that we get rid of it. Look, we can win games, lose games. There's ways to win and lose and uh, I really didn't like the mentality today. That's the biggest thing that I, that I took away. The, what we did with the ball at times was as good as anything we've done this season, but you have to understand that, uh, that the game's difficult and if you take your foot off the gas, which we did, um, then any team in this league will hurt you. We went behind, the second goal was another deflection. We, we don't seem to be getting the rub of the green at the moment, it's certainly on the defensive side. Yeah, uh, look, I think uh, we work hard on how we try and block shots. Yeah, some of it's a little bit unfortunate, some of it's the technique, how we do it, but uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that can happen. Uh, we get deflections when we score. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit unlucky, but uh, the second and the fourth. But also, that's football. They're in a box. We should uh, make sure that they're not there. And again, fine margin. I think Josh McGuinness hits the post, and then two minutes later, they go and get the third. Again, fine margin. Yeah, I think uh, at times in the game, look, I think anyone that was here could see that we can play, but I want to see another side to us. It's another game where we've played well and conceded uh, a fair few goals. It's, it's been a recurring theme um, and I have to fix it. Uh, I'll fix it in the next few weeks. I'll fix it this season and the seasons to come. I know I talk about the DNA of the club. There's also a part of that DNA that means that um, we have to be able to scrap. Not every game is going to be like the first 44 minutes here. There's going to be teams that are just as desperate for the points as we are. Um, and we have to be ready to outfight them, whether you're 19, 33, Played however many games with the national team. We've got some good characters in the dressing room. I think some of them uh, were just at a point where we have to learn that football's hard at times. I have to stay patient, but uh, I don't really feel like doing that tonight. You made a number of changes in the second half. Obviously, you're trying to turn the, the game in our favour. Were they all tactical? Any injury related? No injury related. Uh, some of them were yellow card related. Uh, uh, yeah, the way we're, we're trying to be more aggressive without the ball, uh, which leaves us in big spaces. So, uh, yeah, we had to make a decision on some of the yellow cards. Uh, like Baba, yeah, that was a yellow card decision. Sean Clare was actually brilliant first half. That was just tactical. We had to we had to be more aggressive. And um, Charlie Kelman, I didn't expect to use him that much or this much before we signed him. So um, that was a bit more physical.
pumped. You said missed out due to a small knock. Has he got a chance to be fit for Shrewsbury on Saturday? I hope so. Uh, same as Liam Shaw, I hope um, the more competition we have, the better. Just a quick word on the on the goals, obviously. Jordan's very good at that, isn't he? Cutting in on the left, finding the corner. And Tello, I think that's his fifth in his last six. So he's, finding, he's finding the net at times. Yeah, the, look, it's, scoring goals has not been an issue for us. Um, there has to be a mentality and a desire not to concede. So, um, look, today we got beat 4 2. The rally is, I think it was between the ears rather than anything tactical or technical.